What up boys and welcome back to yet another Dragonflight Gold farm. So due to 1005 we have millions of farms available to us, new ones. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And today's video can be done solo by anyone, doesn't matter what faction you play. It doesn't matter what class you have because you have to make a new tune. And this took us well above an hour to figure out this farm. And that was after me doing a lot of research on... Uh, like gray and white items so it's very important that you pay close attention to how to obtain these items now before we dive into the specifics big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the youtube channel i never thought that the day would come where i actually broke a hundred thousand youtube subs so i really do appreciate that and because we reach 100k i'm doing 5 million gold in giveaway to one lucky guy and another 5 million gold once we reach 110k I'm also activated the sale for the 0 to 10 million gold guide. So right now, because we reached 100,000 YouTube subs, you can get the complete gold guide for only $9.90. So for the price of less than a WoW token or a month uh, game time, you guys would receive an in-depth gold guide that I uh, have all my methods and tactics in of how I personally make uh, multiple gold caps. The best part about it is the fact that you just got to get it once and you will receive a lifetime of free updates. So I've already updated the book for almost two and a half years. So whenever there's a new patch or even a new expansion, I'm updating this gold guide and you guys receive the updated version sent directly to your mail. So make sure to check out the link down below and do not forget to use the discount code SALE. So the item that we are after is this set right here, Shoddy. Now this is just a vest, but there's like Shoddy gloves and belts and the boots and the whole shebang, right? So the reason why this one is good, and a lot of people, if you look at it, they're just gonna disregard this set because uh, like the chest, for instance, same model as 14 items. So you'd think that this gray item is just another gray item that shares the appearance with a million other items. Uh, However, if you click at the same model as, you can notice that all of these items have different colors. And if they don't have different colors, they don't have the kind of like the, uh, the, the sleeve, like the short sleeve on it, like the shoddy chest has, right? The only one that has sleeves is this green one and this gray one, but they're different color. So out of these 14 same model items, there is only really... Well, there's none items that are exactly like this one. So it has a different item ID and it's basic. This is the sort of items that people really like, like the basic vanilla marks. That's why Glorious and Jade and Bloodlust and Bloodforge and all of those items perform so well because they're very basic uh, and people love to use them in combination of various marks. Now, how do you get them? So this is the frustrating part. Well, it was frustrating because according to uh, Wowhead, they can drop from pretty much every single mob in uh, the Sunstrider Isle or Eversong Woods, right? So we went ahead and we killed the arcane mobs that's just outside of the, the starting zone. You guys are probably aware of it. There's like two plateaus and they hyper spawn. You kill like thousands upon thousands of these mana worms an hour. And we didn't get shit. But with like five people killing for like up to an hour, didn't get anything. We tested other mobs, it didn't get shit. Like, we got everything else besides from this set. And then we logged on to low-level tunes, right? Just to see if you had to be a mail wearer to get the, the chest. It doesn't make sense, but we were desperate, so we tried everything. And uh, some people on their mail tunes got the items, right? But I thought to myself, that can't be it. That That's never the thing, especially not in this, which is uh, TBC content due to Blood Elves. So I made a priest, and you can only get these items if you are at the original level of the mobs, and they do not no longer drop from the mana worms. Uh, so we figured out, if you just make a tune, it doesn't have to be a male wearer, it can be any tune, like I'm on a priest right now, and uh, you will literally spawn right here, and you can just go behind the Sun Spire, and you can kill all of these uh, Spring Paw mobs. The Cubs, but also the Big Boy uh, Tigers, just kill every single one of them. And when you're on a low-level tune, you can actually get to these items. Uh, so, as long as you're within the uh, original level range of the uh, these mobs right here, you can get the Shoddy set, which is absolutely amazing. Like, I just looted right now. Um... As you guys can see, I loaded the shoddy chain gloves and the vest. They're fairly simple to get. 
if you have this information. If you don't have this information, it's going to be impossible to get it. So I think that this set could be uh, perform really well on the auction house because the only people that will really know about it is the people that have been watching this video. And speaking about that, if you guys want to watch these videos before anyone else, you can always consider signing up to the VIP Discord. It's pretty much like a Patreon where everything happens on Discord. So you, you sign up, you get invited to the VIP Discord. And on that Discord, I upload all of my YouTube videos onto the Discord before they go public on YouTube. And we also have rooms where we discuss our latest investments, like what items have spiked in value right now, like how are people making gold. And, uh, and we also test farms together with people. You get prioritized invites for group farms and so on. But if you want to read more about it, it's going to be posted down below in the uh, description together with the gold guide. Uh, but that was pretty much it for today's video. And it, it's worth mentioning that even though you play Alliance, because I made Alliance, like right now you can mail items from Horde to Alliance and the other way around. So even if you play Alliance, just make yourself a Blood Elf farm these cubs and then you can just send the items over to your uh, main alliance tune it's no biggie but with that being said that is pretty much it for today's video so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all back in at the next one until then bye bye